Okay, we're going to take a picture. There we go. Okay, well, welcome to St. Patrick's Day. We are not going to do a St. Patrick's Day project. We're going to continue with our project from last week. But before we start, as we always do, I love going over all those rules. Oh, look at that. There's even a greenish fish that Iris has done. So how perfect is that? Okay, who's got some uh, Art Explorer rules? Oh, I saw Logan's hand way up high. Go for it, Logan. Have fun. I think I heard you through your mic. Bring up your microphone a little bit. Let's check out your microphone volume. Have fun. Ta-da. There you go. We are definitely going to have some fun finishing off our project today. Uh, Iris, go for it. Try your best and forget the rest. And also, can I say another one? Hold on just a second. I want to make sure everyone knows try your best and forget your rest. We are going to do our hardest animal today. So... If you get frustrated, just remember, you take a breath, take it easy, right? Because it's supposed to be fun. And if you're frustrated or you're having a hard time, let me know and we'll see if we can fix it, okay? Cool. What's your another one, Iris? What else would you like to say? Notice and observe. That always is forget forgotten. So I Notice thought and observe. Thank you so much. We're going to be observing the <laughs> rabbit today. Was that the one you were going to say, Fiona? Did we miss, did we, did we take yours? Wait, did we fix the owl? Yeah. Uh, wait, we drew the owl. We did not paint the owl. Wait, but is this what it's supposed to look like? Yeah, the only thing you're missing is some feet and a second and a second wing and a beak, but we'll take care of it. No worries. That's gonna okay. be easy. That'll be easy to jump right in. Yep. All right, so we got try your best and forget the rest. Notice and observe. Have fun. We're missing one more. There's, there's something about right or wrong. Hmm. Hmm. All right, Iris, fill us in. There's no right or wrong way to be an artist. Right, because everyone's their own artist. We're all going to get different instruction. All your art is going to look different. Absolutely right. All righty, so let's uh, go ahead and we will share our screen. Hello, here we are. Everybody see day two? Day two, let me get your faces all lined up so I can see you. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, and once Colette gets here, we'll see her too. Day two, we are talking about, about the symbol of land because we've already got our water and our air and not just any land, but the graphic representation of land in the woodlands, before we talk about which one, I want to remind everybody what is graphic representation? I'll give you the cheat sheet right there. Lily, tell us what is graphic representation? Can you read these for, for us? Oh, no volume. You got volume? Nope. I don't see that you're muted though. That's interesting. Nope. How about did you punch up your volume button? Maybe your volume is low. All right, talk again. No, we heard you earlier. How could that be? Okay. We'll see if we can figure you out. And we're going to go to Fiona, who's patiently has her hand raised. Go ahead, Fiona. Graphs, graphic rep, rep, uh, reference. I can't say that. It's a big word. Representation. Repre Repre representation. Very well done. Graphic and these things, well, name these things that, that says the things that are graphic. What are they? They are... Simple shapes, flat yep. colors, no blending, and not realistic. Right. So they're more symbols. They're, they're, they're not the realistic looking one. So as we talk about our rabbit, you might remember this is what our drawing is going off of. Anyone remember the name of that artist that this is based off of? Hmm. Or what country he might be from? You want to give it a try, Iris? Um. 
I like that you're going to try. Switzerland. Switzerland. From That's correct. He is from Switzerland. Sweden or something. Something. Sw Switzerland. Yep, you got that right. Something that starts with an SW. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Switzerland. And uh, St. Patrick, are you going to tell us what our, our, our artist is from last week? <laughs> um, is it like... Mm, what was it? It was... Tip of your tongue. Here we go. His name is Celestino Piatti. And, oh. and so this is the rabbit. I just took a screen capture of this guy here. And can everyone see that this was a stamp? This was one of the Swiss stamps that he had done for them. So Celestino Piatti is the artist that we've been talking about. And besides that stamp, this is the only other rabbit that he did that I could find at least. So he's beautiful. He's a great one to look at because he's got that same side profile with the long ears and the whole body, which is exactly the, what we're going to be doing. So here is what our project looks like. And some of the, some of the children who took my nature camp last year, like uh, Colette, so she, she did this rabbit last year. And who else? Molly Jo was in my summer camp. So this was the rabbit we had done last year, but we're doing one that's slightly different. Of course, they can look completely different. Here's more of a realistic looking pencil drawing. Isn't he just adorable? So, so cute. Yeah, Iris, what would you like to share? He looks like my rabbit named Willow, but right now he's at my grandma's house. Oh, I didn't even remember you had a rabbit. How sweet. How old is your rabbit? How old is your rabbit? Um, I don't know, but he's brown and I call him my little loaf of bread since he usually just sits there and he's brown. <laughs> That's a cute name. Well, speaking of rabbits that are brown, here's another one. This is a realistic look at, looking rabbit in watercolor painting. Can we hear you yet, Lily? No, I can't hear your volume. This is a <laughs> bummer. Okay, so this is a watercolor painting of a realistic rabbit. Everyone agrees this is realistic looking, right? You can almost reach out and touch it. It looks 3D, it's got some good shadows in there. Definitely not flat like a graphic symbol would be, right? Definitely not flat, definitely not one color. And it has all, pretty many detailed lines. The only thing I noticed it didn't have is for whatever reason, this artist did not put any whiskers on. Didn't decide not to have whiskers. Alrighty, um, moving right along. This is what I would call graphic representations. One color, definitely flat, right? But we all could tell many poses of a rabbit. Super cute, huh? This one would be so, I would call a little bit more realistic. What do you think? Let's take a vote. You think this is realistic or more of a graphic representation? We'll do, we'll do raising of hands. So uh, realistic, raise your hand. One, two, three, four. Oh, unanimous. I think everyone says this is realistic. Yep, I would call it more realistic. You could see the fur in there, right? Not flat. You could see some shadows going on. How about this one? What would you say that is? Hmm. Hmm. It doesn't have to be either or. It could kind of be somewhere in between. Fiona, go for it. One, I think that is a very fat rabbit. <laughs> second, He's a little fudgy, isn't he? <laughs> second, um, I think it's kind of in between because you can see that cartoon, but you can also see that fur. And also the eyes look like they have the shine mark to make it look almost like it's 3D. Yeah. And also there's like a little, like the lights are spread apart. So it almost is a little, it's darker on near the tail. Wow, some excellent observation there. Nice going. Yeah, so I would put but it the tail, The tail's not really realistic. Yeah, but you know, I think you made some great observations. The shading, the stripes, the shine in the eye, all give it that kind of 3D realistic look. Yep, but then he's kind of got that kind of cutie animated feeling also. Would you agree with that, Logan? You, you, you feel like it's, it feels a little bit more like an animated one? Okay, how about this? these guys? What would you call those? Let's see. What'd you see? Uh, Logan, what would you say? Do you think these rabbits look real to you? 
No. No. Why would you say that? Because they the the first one you see it's like he's like in like clothes. Right. Rabbits don't ordinarily wear clothes. That's true. That's true. Anything else you want to say? How about this guy? How do you know this one's not real? Because he's like making his hand go straight and he's yep. like standing up. Standing up, right? Like a human would stand up in his hind legs, right? And I don't know too many carrots who actually hold a rat, uh, hold a carrot like this, a rabbit holding a carrot like this. Okay, Lily, let's give it a try. Can you hear me now? Uh, oh, I thought I heard you. Say it again. Hello? Uh, I can hear you faintly. Turn up your volume as high as it'll go. Yeah, I'll do the same. Try it again. There you go. I guess you're going to speak right in the mic. Yeah, probably. Okay. So what was your observation? I think they're really cartoony because, well, most bunnies don't, like, wear clothes, but they also don't really have, like, no, like, fur lines. Oh, yep. Good point. Good point. Yep. All right. How about this dude here? What do, you, what do you think, Valeria? I haven't heard from Valeria. You think that one is realistic or more uh, of a graphic icon, more of a graphic image? Um, maybe a graphic image. More of a graphic image, and why do you say that? Uh, it's because most bunnies have like the little hair strips. And um, like the eyes aren't really like real eyes. All righty, good, good, good. That's adorable. <laughs> he is adorable, isn't he? You just want to snuggle up with him? Iris, what would you like to share? Um, I have an observation. Yes. Um, I think this one, um, I think they maybe made him with a computer and the one above, uh -huh. the one above on the right, uh -huh. I think he's also made with a computer. And why do you say that? Um, because like, Something about the way it shines on the carrot, I just don't think that'd be possible to draw. Yeah, I think you're right. I think these were done on the computer. Yeah, great observation. Cool. Okay, so we looked at that guy. How about this guy? Is that a graphic symbol or is he realistic looking? That looks kind of obvious to me. What do, you, what, what do you think, Lily? He's gonna definitely be a graphic symbol because, well, most bunnies don't have sharp <laughs> I would agree with that. That's an interesting interpretation, isn't it? And an eye with no pupil in it, huh? Yeah. Really, we can hear you more. Go back yeah. to your. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever the technology was, it's working better now. Yep, good, good. Yeah, I would definitely agree. That is a graphic symbol. How about this guy? Ooh, that is a graphic symbol. Does that look like a rabbit to you? No. Oh. You know, it's funny because in context, you know, we're talking about rabbits, so I can see a rabbit in there. But if I saw this by itself, what animal does it look more like to you? I mean, it kind of looks like a deer. A deer? But yeah. I didn't know that, like, um, that if the theme was rabbits, I'd probably think it's a bull with very unusual long horns. Yeah. Or... Okay. Or yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. deer too. I guess. Yeah. How about you, Iris? What does it remind you of? I don't know about this one. It just looks like a weird shape. But the one above it, um, I think it would be like a weird rolling hill with clouds. This guy. <laughs> yeah. The ears are the clouds, and the rest of them is the weird hill. Wow, good imagination if you took it out of context. Right, if you change, if you rotated it too, you put it on a different axis, on a different angle. Yeah, as I said, I did find the same with the images of the rabbits. I saw it and it reminded me of an antelope, which is kind of in the deer family. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's look at some that are a little bit more like we're gonna be talking about, like this guy here. Notice he's got a, a white belly. The belly can be the whole belly from the head all the way down to his feet, or it could be some part portion of it like this guy here. <clears throat> and of course, we're going to have some a different shape inside the ear. I like this one because it's kind of 
kind of in between. This is the angle we're going for though. He is gonna be sitting on his hind legs with these huge, we call them haunches, huge, big circular hind, hind legs, cute little tail. But I mean, if you had to say, this might take a little imagination. If you had to look at the shape, what shape would it most look like to you? Hmm. What do you think, Valeria? Um, I think uh, probably maybe like the ears would be its ears, but without like the tail. Uh huh. Kind of weird, and without the whiskers, it would kind of look like a um. And without the ears, maybe like a girl lion. Yeah, but I'm, what I'm trying to get at is. What if you had to pick a shape? Like, is it a square, a triangle, a circle, a rectangle? What one is it most like? Oh, I see Iris hopping, but I'm going to give you another shot because maybe I wasn't clear on my question. Um, a oval. It could, it could be like an oval. An oval and a circle mixed together. And There's a lot in there. There is a lot. Okay, Iris had her hand up next. What do you think, Iris? It looks like a weird sideways heart to me. Oh, I, oh, that's beautiful. I love that. Okay, and, and Fiona, what do you think when you see it? Well, it's hard to explain. Okay. Because I made the middle the white and took away the ears. It, well, it's really hard to explain because I don't think this is a shape. Okay. Um, it's like, um, well, it's almost like a, it's not called a ridge. Um, that's well, can I, like, can I like show you or something? You want to like draw on the screen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, yeah. Can you ask permission? Like this, like like a ridge almost, like a. Ah. I don't know what that oh. shape is. Oh, well, that's like a, that would be um. Oval. Yeah. Well, All right. Exactly like a circle, but like. I a think, I think it is really parts, pieces, and parts of something. So you're right. This curve here is more like an oval. And you can almost draw an oval on his body. And these are more like leaves, the, the, the um, ears. Many people even call the little bunny tail like a fire. But I'm thinking that it's almost like, a if you had to draw a line around it, it would be a triangle. Cause you got, it's wide on the bottom and it's slanted here. And then it comes down straight there. But that takes some imagination to really see that all the way through. Let's look at some other profiles or side views of the rabbits. Here we go. I, I, I like this one because this is just the shadow of this rabbit. So this is the exact outline, although it's a little taller, we don't get the whole body in this picture, but that's the shadow or the outline of the rabbit. So you get a sense for what his head looks like and his ears coming off the top of his head. And then that angle on the back of his back. Here's more shadows facing the opposite direction, but still kind of the same thing where it's much more wide at the bottom, narrow neck and the long ears coming out. You notice that big hump right here and that hind leg, we'll be doing the same thing in hours. And here is the shadow for that guy. There you go. So those are the rabbits we're gonna look at. We're gonna get drawn our rabbits and painting the rest. Just a reminder that we're gonna be starting our spring session soon. And that's the ones that we're gonna be looking at for our spring session. All right, let me- um, I'm, not, I'm not gonna do the spring session, but I think I'm gonna do a summer one. Ah, that would be fun. Come go back. Oh, yeah, I have I have a lot of things like sports going on. Yeah, you're a busy girl. Okay, so let me stop the share. There we go. And let me set you all up so I can see y'all together. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, Good. that works for me. All righty, everyone's got their drawings. We're gonna start with pencil. I'll be right back. I have to go grab my charger. My tablet's almost dead. Okay, we don't want you dying on us. All right. So, here we are. You might see I have my rabbit already pre-drawn in there in pencil. 
I'm gonna go step by step, going over all the shapes in Sharpie. You're gonna stay with pencil until we got all the animals done because we're gonna be doing some erasing. While we're getting started, Fiona, I'm just gonna catch you up real quick on that on that owl. So don't, I think you were missing a little back wing and some legs. The legs we did were kind of like little mini triangles coming off the legs and then the three feet that uh, birds are known for. Oh, look at Valeria's. Valeria decided to put a little ribbon on hers. Speaking of ribbons, where's your ribbon today? Oh my goodness. Oh, and Logan put a ribbon on hers too. Super cute. She'll be right back. She needs her ribbon. Oh my gosh, I told her. Where's her? I hope it's going to be green. Yeah, so there we go. Oh, did everybody put a little um, feather marks on there? Little Like little scallop marks on his chest? I think some people, yeah, go ahead and do that. I think some people didn't get a chance to do that the last time. And so some of them look like almost uh, little W's, little rounded W's, and some of them are just uh, flat, kind of flat U's and just kind of space map. There you go. How appropriate, green ribbon. Now everything is good in the world. Okay. All right. So we'll just spend a few seconds just finishing up that. Larry, did you put in some feather marks in, on the owl's belly? I um, know. Go ahead and do that. Okay. She's grabbing her ribbon. And while you do that, I will do my hind, my, the first line you're going to do on the rabbit. Wait, what are we doing? Uh, people were just kind of catching up there with the with the owl. They hadn't finished their owl. Okay, you guys ready? Yes, Valeria. Um, are we supposed to do the little line feathers in Sharpie? Mm. Face them in Sharpie. Why don't you why don't you wait on that? We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna work on the rabbit, and then we can do any lines that we haven't done at the end of the okay. rabbit. How's it? Adorable. Nice job. Good. Okay. I'm gonna add. I'm gonna add like. What's the thing we have to do for the for the rabbit? All right, here's rabbit number one. Okay, what I want you to most notice and observe with this first one is the spacing. You want to make sure you've got enough. Everybody got their eyes up. You want enough space for this bottom line of the rabbit. You don't want to run into the rabbit. Hold on just a minute there, Logan. So that line is the bottom of his foot. It's a pretty long line, and you want to make sure it's at least one finger space above the highest point in your fish, wherever the highest point of your fish is. And then he's got this semicircle, a backward C for his hind quarters. And it's pretty big. It's uh, three adult fingers, which probably means four children's fingers big. So yes, Logan, what, what do you want to ask? It looks like a sled. It looks like a what? Sled. Oh, a sled like a toboggan. Yeah, good description. Nice noticing. So that's our first one. Letter, big letter C, at least three or four fingers high and a pretty far long straight line, the bottom of his leg. If you've got your ruler with you, you don't have to exactly measure it, but it's about three and a half inches long. Nice, Logan. So Logan, move it over to the middle of the camera for a second. I want to see one thing. Let me see it again. Okay, What? just be careful. It's a little close to the owl's hand. Maybe you can make the owl's uh, wing a little shorter. Go ahead and make the owl's wing. See how much space there is between his back and the owl? So you just want a little bit more spacing between, just so they're all kind of evenly spaced on the page. I'm looking at Lily's. Yep, okay. <clears throat> How are you doing, Fiona? Still working there. Iris, you ready? Nice, good, really nice. I love your owl, he's so cute with his hand to his mouth. Super cute. Uh, okay, let's see. Okay, so Fiona, 
your oh, bump, Fiona. Fiona, your bump is on the <laughs> other side. Your bump is over here. We're gonna put oh. the, the mirror image. I'm looking at Valeria. Cool. I think Valeria, I think you can bring your bottom line even lower. Just bring it down like one finger length lower. That way you'll have a bigger body. That looks good, Logan. Yep, that looks good. So I'm gonna show you the Was big, yes. Do I start this line at the, like the, like near the edge of my paper? The line starts closest to the wing of the owl and goes and goes out. Okay. Okay. And then there's a big old circle and I'm going to go ahead and finish his leg just so you can see where this is going. It's two separate strokes, but I know you guys are good enough to do that. So that is his hind leg. Okay, got it. Got it. Nice. Okay, so how's this? Ta-da! Good. Good job. Nice, Logan. Nice. That is one long, powerful back leg. You know they sprint, right? They push off a lot with those hind legs. So that, that's why it's got a big, big muscle in the back. Lots of power in that hind leg on a rabbit. <laughs> you laughing at yours? <laughs> Does it look silly? Uh, yes, Iris. <laughs> Gorgeous. Nice. And Valeria. Oh, yeah. There you go. Nice. Okay. And then go ahead and, and finish that loop. I'm looking at Lily's. Hold on, Lil. I think you're going to need. I can't see how tall yours is. Yours might, your leg might be a little high because I can't, I can't really see your, your top loop a little bit. So don't do anything yet. Watch, watch the next, next couple steps. We're going to go to the head, but Lily, when we go to connect the, the head to the hindquarters, you might find that your hind is a little high. So hold on to, hold on to what you have so far. I'm not sure if it's too high or not. Okay. Yes, Valeria. Are you back? It kind of looks like a slipper. Well, it kind of does. Yeah, I bet you that'd be a super cozy slipper, all furry. Super cozy. Okay, then we're going to skip up to the head. And the head, let me draw mine, is like a rounded D is how I would define this. And I'll show you what I mean. Well, I'm in the garage and I'm around a D. Can you see that's the letter? It's a backwards. Oh, no, there on screen, it's right. So it's a rounded D. Things to notice and observe. The forehead is pointed down a little bit. So this is going to be where the ears are going to come off in a minute. Here is his little pointed nose. So his forehead bends a little bit. So the top of his head is higher to the top of the page than out here on the side. And we want to leave a little space on the edge. Nice, Valeria. I'm uh, looking at Lily's. Lily's is so light, I can barely see it. I think this could be too tiny. Lily, you're going to have to draw a little darker. Something about the lighting today. Okay. Yes. Uh, Logan, yes. Let me see yours. At school, actually. Yeah. We figured out what our leprechaun's names are. <laughs> you did. What are they? Mine. Spicy, I think. I forget. So everybody named him at school? Yeah. Fun. No, no, you get it. So you get to pick your birthday next to your last name. My last name is Halfprint. My last name is Halfprint. It's either both our birthdays are in September. Oh, you get to pick a choice. Fun. Fun. That's cool. And first name, what well, uh, mine was a B, started with a B. Hers started with an F. Oh, uh, I get it. Oh, we did no that too. It. So uh, the first initial for our names would have like a thing, like, like, um, like athletic, like, um, mean or like tiny. Oh, an adjective? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. And then the first initial. Good, name. though. I could see that leg really well. Yeah. 
it's okay. Yeah. And then, and then, like, and then, hold on. <laughs> yes, go ahead, Iris. Since we're learning about the gold rush, my mom made something like that. So. Um, oh, yeah. And what the gold rush adjectives were, how you describe them as scallywag or whatever. Yeah. And so, and so, and then like the, there would be like a month of your birthday. So your first, my, my first uh, name was tiny and then my last name was in my name uh my birthday is in february so um i was uh tiny okay don't laugh tiny green foot <laughs> how could you not laugh at that <laughs> that's a, but that's the point yeah. isn't it uh, yeah it's kind of cute <gasps> yes iris continue go ahead okay is this good go Are you on? Um, I lost your volume, Iris. I wasn't talking because. Oh, I thought you were explaining more. Great. Okay. Uh, one more, one more comment, and then we're gonna refocus again. So, Logan, you want to finish your comment? That looks good, Lily. Thank you. What my last name of feisty was? Half print. My last something half print. Half print. Cute. Okay. We got we got that that D shaped head that rounded D shaped head everyone's happy with theirs. Yeah. Next comes the ears, and those are kind of like a um, I guess I would call it a leaf shape. Oh. And one is tucked right behind the other. You have a choice. You could make your ears very pointy or a little bit rounded that is your artist choice let me just fix this little line there one you can see how one is connected to the head the other one is behind the first the first one okay let's do this let's do it is right hi hey so how, how are you good nice to see you Sure, that's how much gold you have. Yes. Right. <laughs> I, guess I restarted my gold when the season, the new season started. Oh, good. Looks good, Logan. Now, if you want, Logan, this this is your choice. If you want, you could make it a little wider in here than at the tip. Okay. Let's Tell me. Hold on. Well, hold on. I was talking to Logan. I want to make sure she understood what I was just saying. So, Logan, if you want. You can make it wider here and pointier here if you want, but if you're happy with your ears, you can leave them as they are. I think Next. I'm just gonna make them a little more pointier. Okay, works for me. Okay, Fiona, what were you gonna say? Not the way through the pieces. Nice, nice. Should I make my head bigger? No, I think it's gonna be good. Okay. Good. Uh, Lily, um, only one tip for you is I think your behind ear can come up just a little bit, a little bit narrower where it hits the head oh okay okay iris yeah. how, are you, how are you doing iris okay. yeah. right. super cute super cute oh before we continue my failure to mention at this point we can erase remember we did those lines that separated the animal the horizontal yeah. one we can erase those now that was just for spacing because i was concerned about the owl and the fish coming into the rabbit space you can go ahead and erase those now because you'll be able to see how close you are, how, the, how close the animals are. So go ahead and take those out. So for example, if you wanted your ears to be a little longer, they can uh, come closer to that line. We don't need that anymore. Those serve their purpose. Okay. All right, let's see. Looking good. So Fiona, if you wanted, you could make your ears longer, but they're fine if you like them. Mm -hmm. uh, looks great, Lily. And great. Iris had her ears pointed up a little bit towards the top of her paper, which is just fine. Okie doke, the interior of the ear. The interior of the ear is actually like a little uh, tuck. Okay. It actually does, it's not a straight line. You could make it a straight line and that would make it very much a graphic symbol. Or you can give it a little bit, looks good. looks good there, Valeria. 
Or you can give it a little bit of a rounded shape because it's actually no. tucked. He's probably gonna look really cool in the primal. Nice, pattern. Lily. This looks great. Okay. What? Bring it down a little bit. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Looking good. Oh, hi. Yes, Iris. Yes. I didn't make okay. it tucked because I wanted to make it look like um, since their ears like turn out when they're like aware. Oh, cool. Okay. Guys, my dog. Work for me. What's your dog doing? Oh, uh, no. Yeah. My dog, my dog just passed away. Oh, no kidding. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry. So now we only have our stupid dog, Duke. Uh, <laughs> he, tried to bat, he tried to bite my mom. Uh, how old was the dog that passed away? Um, She was 12. Oh, yeah. Getting up there in years then, huh? Yeah. She was my mom's favorite dog, but she's like, no, I'm going to be a good one. I love our animals. <laughs> love our animals, right? Okay, now for the nose. The nose, the nose is kind of like a rounded triangle coming right off the corner. Here's another, here's another version, a little bit more complicated, if you want to go with that nose. This one you might notice has a little bit of gray fur behind it. So this one's a little bit more realistic looking nose. This one is a little bit more stylized. So whatever suits you fancy. I did mine. Got it? Like it, Fiona. It? Checking it out. Checking it out with her frame. You want to see it? Sure, I'd love to see it. Oh, precious. Super cute. Super duper cute. And then it's got the little, the little part, which you can see some of it. You can't see all of it because we don't get all of his face, right? He's got a profile. He's not got the side view. So one, you're only going to see a little bit of the curve because it finishes off on part of the face we cannot see. Does that make sense to you, Iris? Got you want to, you Are want to we supposed to make an eyeball? Not yet. I didn't do it. I didn't do it yet. Nice. Mm -hmm. so we're, we're working on the bottom of the face. That's beautiful, Iris. Nice. Valeria, you got your little your little mouth in there? I think I it's gonna be like a cute little. Super cute. I think my buddy look at it. it almost looked like a teardrop to me. They probably just kept on yeah. Lily, what were you saying? I think my bunny's gonna be like. Like, um, like maybe not realistic, but like a cute version. Okay. Yeah, remember we saw kind of combinations where they're like kind of real, but they're still a little cartoony. There's every version you can come up. That is Mrs. where Penny? there's, there's no Penny? right or wrong way to be an artist, right? Mm -hmm. Not really. Can you show me the nose again? I can't yeah. really do that like teardrop. Okay. Um, well, we got this guy. It's a ups you think of it as like an upside down triangle with rounded edges. Oh, or okay. So I don't have to do like the hard one. Oh, or this one here. There's two versions. There we go. And then the eye, the eye could be just a circle with a dot, which is the way Celestino Piatti had done it. All his animals just had those really basic circle <laughs> with a with a pupil. Or you can go more for that realistic look where you've got the, the flesh around his eyes and it's more uh, almond shaped and pointy on the edges. So you can choose which version you like. I feel like my bunny's nose is very easy. I did my bunny's eyeball. It's very high. I love it. Now you know what? Um, because you almost have it look like the rabbit is looking up a little bit. His nose is high. So I think it's, I think it's awesome where, it, where that is in proximity to his nose. I wouldn't change it, Fiona. I think it looks great. It just right. looks like he's looking up in the sky a little bit. I like this. So that gives you more personality. Oh, nice eye, Lily. Yeah. So Lily went more for the realistic looking eye. 
And how's Valeria and Logan? Logan, are you helping? Are you helping Valeria or vice versa? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Can I color in like the pupil area? Uh, with a sharpie? Yeah. Sure. My pupils be great. Okay. Does everybody have an eye? Yes. Y'all feel good? Iris, you got your eye? Wait, do you mean like an eye on you or an eye on the bunny? <laughs> an eye on the rabbit. A rabbit uh, eye. A rabbit eye. Do the new primal this and do the new one? I have a rabbit eye and a eye of a <laughs> There you go. For those who are ready. Next, we're going to connect the body with his hind quarter, uh, his head with his hind quarters. And I highly recommend you use a ruler for this because this is going to give it that kind of graphic feeling. Okay. And just, you know, do it in pencil so you can figure out how it's going to go because you might be shifting the angle. Maybe it's going to be really steep. Maybe your, maybe your rabbit's a little taller at the head. So the angle is going to be steep. Maybe it's going to be a little less diagonal. But notice and observe that you're going to have at least two fingers, if not three fingers, coming from the ears. Down, nice. Valeria, yours is gonna be a little high. So the, it's a little high where it hits the head. Where you where you started on the hindquarters is awesome. You just need to bring it down a little bit. It's too high, close to his ears. Logan looks awesome. If you want it, Logan, if you want to just make it a little bit better, you can start your line a little higher. Why? Because mom, that's it. You can start, start, you you start yours a little higher. What? It's kind of fake. But like, like there. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Now it's up to you, Fiona. Couple things. Right uh -huh. now, your line shows more of his hind quarters. If you want less of his hind quarters, you'd start it a little higher. Yours is starting a little lower. It's up to you. There's no right or wrong on this. Some it all pulls together. Yep. Looks great, Logan. Got it, got it, got it. Over there. Over there. And as I said, you might be changing it even again after you put his chest line in. Because I know when I, I did mine the first time, I had his neck was too thick. And I had to change both of those lines. So let me show you. Okay, how's this? Good. Is this good? I'm looking at everybody's. Looks great, Lily. Looks good. So you see what I mean? Look at his neck. You want to make sure his neck is not too fat. So figure out where you're going to drop that line for his chest. And this is clearly a graphic representation because rabbits would have much more curvy chest that it's not a, a, an exact straight line like that. I did use a ruler for that as well. Iris, is your hand up? Yes. Sure, absolutely. Go for it. Is my neck too fat? Hold on, I'm, I'm talking to Iris right now. Move it a little bit to the other, uh, uh, move it over a little bit to my left. I don't know if that's your left. Er, there we go. Your, your neck is a little high. See how there's more space? The, the back is awesome, Iris, but the, the um, line of your back hits the head too high. I so know, just, I like it like that. Drop, just drop it a little bit. It needs a little point because otherwise it looks like his head is kind of shrunken down just a little. Looks good, Lily. Uh, Fiona, you want to show me yours? Who's is that? I'm looking at Valeria. Looking good. Looking good. Everyone's got it. Everyone's got it. Is my fat? Is my is my neck too fat? No, I don't think so. What do you think? I don't think so. I feel like my body's really tall. He's he's taller than some of the others. That's okay. He's just sitting up taller. I think it still works. Looks good. No, like no Colin, be quiet. Colin. Colin. I have to be done. He yells when he plays games. I'm like, for Can someone kill me? Okie doke. Front leg. Front leg is just a little stick. This is not realistic looking either. This is a graphic representation. He's just a little stick. That's how that's how Celestino Piatti had done it. Bye guys. Bye. Good little. You wanna get your get your front leg in? I think I should make my front leg a little bit thicker because it's a little skinny. Okay. 
Look at that, how you're observing. Nice. Great, Logan. Well done. Okay. Yep. Yep. And, oh, yeah, you guys are nailing this. Totally nailing this. I added whiskers. We're going to do whiskers. I just haven't added them yet. Iris, how are you feeling about yours? Oh, cool. So Iris is going to give her give hers a front paw because she's going to make it look a little bit more realistic. Okay. Works for me. Okay. The belly. The belly has a soft curve to it. It is not a straight line. And it is going to go right into the paddle of his paddle of his big back leg. So you can see it's a soft curve because it is kind of fleshy in there. The belly's soft and rounded. But we're not we're not making it too exaggerated. Nice. Good look. Okay, so so Valeria, yours is a little too low. You started too low. Mine is so skinny. So, hold Why? on, Valeria, Valeria, Valeria. Maybe if you raise your leg line up a little bit, then you can make it more of an angle. Okay. Okay. Great. Mine is too skinny. Okay, it's look like at that. This, you guys are, you like guys are it out yourself. Um, you don't need me coaching you. You got it all. So I'm going to do this, the stomach more rounder than straight. Yeah, I like it. If you want, you can bring it in even a little bit more, Fiona. Just a tiny bit more at, his, at his foot. Hold on. You, can you see that, Fiona? See how it comes back, back in his foot. It's not at his toe. It's back here at his foot. That is uh, oh, at his point. Oh, oh, oh. A little back here. Yes. Did you, have, did you have something, Lily? Oh yeah. Um. When does this cast class usually end? Because um, my mom wants to go on a walk with my cousins. That sounds nice. Uh, four thirty. We got another forty minutes. Okay. Okay. Forty minutes. Four zero. Mm -hmm. okay. Let's see. I have fifty percent. Do you think I'll have enough time with where I won't die? Uh, I don't know how fast your power goes out, so I cannot answer that. Hopefully. Yeah. Well, it's on green right now, so I think okay, I'm fine. Good. I think you're good. Yeah, if you don't have a one. Yeah, one. when it's on red, you go charge and you know, it. Danger, yeah, danger. Or I, I didn't even charge it at yellow. Danger, danger. Okay, um, um, things to think about. Because I'm going for the graphic graphic representation. I am not going to be putting on the hind legs either in the front or the back. Iris, yours is realistic. I would definitely go ahead. And in fact, Iris, here's the more realistic version of the one I had done originally. And you can see I put hind legs behind both of them and then I painted them darker. So Iris, did you take a peek at this? See how they're St. Patrick, St. Patrick has to go bye-bye. You're gonna leave St. Patrick. Thank you for blessing us. Uh, Lily, Lena, who, who else? Uh, Valeria, did you have your hand up? Um, Mrs. Kenny, yes. do I have to draw the back leg? No, I'm not gonna put mine in. On this one, I'm gonna do complete graphic representation. No back leg. I, I, can I show you mine? Oh yeah, yeah, way to make that adjustment. Yeah, Iris, yes. Beautiful. Really nice, really nice. Looking good. Okay, Lil, we got a little bit of a back leg there. Cool. Okay, we of course need a little tail. You can decide if you want it to be more like that flame one we saw. I don't know what you want to call mine, a paddle. But it definitely has a upward motion to it. They come off of, and yes, what would you like to say, Lily? Can I make it like super big, but also super fluffy? Sure, sure. Is if especially if it's a graphic representation, it doesn't need to look realistic. Adorable Logan, super cute. Oh yeah, looks adorable, Fiona. Nice, Logan. Yes. I want to make it like really super cute. Uh, move yours this way. Oh yeah, it looks great, Valeria. That looks like a pom pom. I want to go squeeze it. Super cute. Yeah. <laughs> I love when there's like something super big but also super soft because then I can hug it or, uh, or like touch it. Ready? It's like a stuffed uh, animal. Whoa. Okay. Then we're gonna uh That's a real pom -pom. Then we're gonna put just a couple freckles in his nose. Three or four. 
up near his nose and and his and uh, part of his mouth. And then from there, you you can use use sharpie for this if you like. You can go right to sharpie. You can put in your whiskers, and the whiskers naturally go down. And if you're trying to make it realistic, they actually cross. Mine's a graphic representation, so I am not going to have mine cross. But in reality, they almost always cross can each I, other. Can I see the first one you did? Oh, the realistic looking one? Yeah. Oh, these are so light. You might not even be able to see them. Oh, and then here's my other one. They tend to, they tend to curl down. It's a real rabbit. Adorable. Logan. Yeah, oh, Valeria, I love yours. She's super cute. Hey, guys, okay. did you see that Mrs. Holmes was the teacher of the week? Oh, I see. That's nice. Yeah. I like her. She's a nice She teacher. broke her nose playing handball when she was a teenager. Iris, Iris, go for it. You show me. It was cute. Ah, oh, so cute. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, so adorable. Yep, yep. Okay, now you guys are ready for uh, Sharpie. Go ahead and put Sharpie on any of the lines you want. And of course, erase anything you don't. Okay, let me go get a Sharpie. I don't think I brought one. Sharpie's a good thing to have on this project. Yes, very well is. <laughs> No. Oh, yeah. Are you doing that? Yep. Ready, ready, buddy? Where's Shasta? Our fun little man. Tear it up. Okay. This. I know, it's a weird looking Sharpie. It's a Sharpie. As long as it's, we, it's important that it's uh, permanent. It's not a regular marker because we're going to put water on it. We don't want it to bleed. Yeah. <gasps> I'm just sending a text to Colette's mom, letting her know she can either get the recording or join us tomorrow. Wait, Colette's not going to be here? She should have been here. They were trying to get on. They had some technology issue. I guess it never, never solved. <laughs> um, and Mrs. Kenny, I don't think I want to make my ears longer. Okay, it's artist decision. Oh, do I put the sharpie on the whiskers? Yes. Okay. I like you a little bit. I'm like, I hope she says yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Get it. I'd love to see yours. Oh my goodness! Don't you just love them? Oh, super cute! Oh my gosh! What's so the matter? And look at how different they all are. I love it. Colin is playing with her. So fun! So fun! Awesome. Can I can I um, paint the nose pink? You bet. Yes, that's a given. In fact, we're ready for painting. Yeah, Almost ready. I see, see some people it. doing pencil lines. This is, so does everyone have a Sharpie on all three animals now? Yes. And then did you all erase pencil lines so there's no more pencil? Yes. You should see no more pencil line anymore. No erasing. Okay. We're like wiping up the same time. Can I put a bow tie on my bunny? Sure, you have enough room in his neck? Sure. Yes. Yeah. That'd be cute. It'll look like an Easter rabbit. Yeah. I just finished a racing. Oh, Logan, I really like yours. Nice. Okay. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> yes, if you're waiting for us, uh, you can paint, you can begin painting the owl first. How are we doing on time? We're good. 
No, I'm good. Nice. Okay, the only requirement I have on color, because we're, we were trying to emulate or copy Celestino Piani. Everybody look up here for a sec. Is I would like his outer eyes to be either orange, orange, red, or yellow. That's my only requirement on color. Otherwise, you can do whatever you choose. So we want him to really pop out like owl's eyes pop out. You might remember last week, all his eyes were either yellow or red. Do you want okay, to say, Valeria? Um, what did you say? I couldn't hear you. We want to make sure when we when we do painting, the only requirement for painting is that the outside of his eyes are either red or yellow. For the owl. For the owl, yep, cute. Cute, looks good, Iris, super cute. I, yep, I love those paints, Fiona. I got the same set. Yeah, so you would use, that's what I use is kind of that orangish red is what I use for, yep, oh, good, good. Iris has it too, I love that set. So um, yeah, I use that orangish, orangish red is exactly the color that I use. I accidentally used red. Well, oh, now, if you feel like the red is too bright or any color is too bright, you can sop it up with either either a paper towel or your cloth. You just go, you just dab it right on there and it'll pick up the color and you'll get a lighter version. So that's one way to get a lighter version. Who can jump in the other way with watercolors to get a lighter color? Lighter color. Logan, I saw your hand nice and high. I know Iris knows the answer to this. Logan, what is it? Put it back in the water. That's it. Add more water, you get a lighter color. That is going to be critical when we go to paint the rabbit because the rabbit is either going to be light gray or tan. So you're almost going to be painting with mostly water, very little color when we get to the rabbit. When I showed you those paintings, um, we use water, but we are using permanent um, like paint. Say that one more time. I forget what they called, but um, we, when we wanted to get stuff white, we had to put it in the water. Oh yeah, that's that's watercolor. That's can I see yours the water. again? Can I see yours again? Uh, my color version. Okay. 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 What are you observing, Fiona? I don't have enough room in like the oh yeah yes yeah do right outside that black yours is slightly different than mine go ahead do that white that ring that's right outside the black that look awesome in red in that reddish orange Penny? yes um for the owl what about this part of the eye uh it's white okay Great question. Yeah, that, yeah, and I do suggest you keep it white because that'll give you that contrast with all the other colors. And most often owls have a lot of white around their eyes. Yes, good good point. Thanks for asking that. Iris, yes. Is that like a really, really, really light gray? Will that work too? Uh, around the eyes? Yeah, yeah, as long as it's light. We definitely want to see that contrast. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little painting myself. Ask away. So right now we're all painting the owl, right? Mm -hmm. Good. Well, at least that's what I'm doing. That's what I suggest. So it's, uh, it's if you want it to pop, if you want it to have some energy, you would use contrasting colors on the color wheel. So that's that, not going to work. What I just did is not going to work. It's not going to work? What do you mean? It looks like the eye is starting to bleed. Yep. Just go ahead and top it up. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's what, you know, that's, that is one of the cool things about watercolor, though. And if it's still too bright, Fiona, what you can do is actually with a clear paintbrush with just water, take one swipe of water on your brush, water on the brush, and just swipe over that red area. And it'll lift up some of the color even more. So that's After what you do the red in the eyeballs, do you put like gray outside of it? I'm leaving mine white. Okay. Yeah. Now I'm going to Logan. For this, the striped wing, do you pick your two colors like 
different color. Yep. I, 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 chose, Penny, I, don't know I chose works. yellow and orange. Oh, that's not, that's, that's going to work, Fiona. Believe me, once you, once you're painting the rest of it, because you're going to keep the, the band on the outside white, it's going to work. It's going right. to work. Trust me. The, the second eye is just going to be lighter. You know, you want it lighter. I was painting once uh -huh. and I used like a normal glass, actually this glass. Uh -huh. And I put it in the dishwasher because it was dirty. Yeah. Uh, I unloaded it the next day and it was stained. Oh no, <laughs> let me see, you must have had some strong paint dye in that cup, wow. And actually it's still there. <laughs> Right here. Oh, there you, there you go. So now it's pinkish. Well, at least you're using the can same I, one. <laughs> can I see your first bird? First bird? Okay, that's significant. That's like not. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So he's got that, that little peak. That, you know, brown or gray, if you want to do that a natural color, but you don't have to. If you're going to make yours more fantasy looking, you could do an unrealistic color. Now, my top hat, should I make my top hat purple or green? Ooh. Hmm. Purple. You know, I almost feel like you got to do your bird and, and whatever, and then, and then choose the top hat color. Yeah, I did my bird. Oh, you finished the bird? What color, what colors are you having your bird? Um, orange, yellow, blue, red, and brown. Okay. So the choices you want for your hat, you said are purple or green? Yeah. Let me see your fish. What colors do you do your fish? Let me see yours. Can you hold it up without it spilling? So you've got green in there, right? So I think I would put green in there because it would kind of tie in the composition and help it flow a little bit. Okay. But it is a personal choice. Personal choice, our artist choice. Yes, Iris. No. Iris. I think I'm gonna do my beak blood red because I think that'll just look cool. Ooh, it's gonna pop. Oh, that is blood red. Whoa. It's gonna you pop. know what is actually bloody? This guy's eye. <laughs> I can't try to make it lighter. It's not working. Did you swipe? Did you swipe the the water brush over it to kind of lift some of it off? Yeah. Okay. It's going to look, look better once he's filled in all the way. I promise. What Sometimes. color should I do? Okay, now this is the decision I cannot make. I bet you can, but I can try to help you. Yes? Okay, what color do I do the beak? Because my fish is like a dark, I mean, like I was like a dark theme, but I think if I do like a light thing, a theme, like if I do it light, that might look good. I just, but I don't know. Well, um, in this paint set, I love Fiona. Look, you have two two yellows. We call this one a cool yellow or lemon yellow, and a dark yellow, which we call more a school bus yellow. I think the school bus yellow is awesome on yeah. the beak. I I wait I, like. This one? Yep. Love okay. that. I absolutely love that yellow. So that's that's my choice. You know, that's my my that's what I favor. I like bright, concentrated, saturated color. That's that's me. It's part of who I am. Yeah. Yes, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna try that. Iris, go ahead. Can we start our rabbit also? It looks look at, like oh everybody look. Can I take a picture? Let me take a picture of you and your owl. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's almost like isn't it adorable? Oh my god. It looks like he has lips. Wait, wait, I missed one. I didn't get it yet. Do it again. Oh my Super cute. Bunny. Super cute. Super cute. Bunny. Oh my gosh, you guys, these are so fun. Can I make my bunny like the Easter bunny? I love it. Now what do you mean by that? You want to make it like the Easter bunny? Like like it's like the color, like the pom pom like purple and the inside of the ears are purple. Oh, okay. So more fantasy looking. Yeah, sure. All right. Mrs. So Penny. About, 
Speaking about the rabbit, are you going to have a comment about this something is else? Penny. Yeah, go ahead. I love that. That looks amazing. See, look at that. See, it's I love that color. You just got to have some trust. It may not look great to begin with, but as you keep flushing it out, it starts coming alive. Yep. Yeah. Sometimes you just got to be a little patient. Oh. Yep. So good. Okay. Uh, I do want to say one thing about the uh, rabbit. So everybody put your, your eyes up for a sec. Okay, hold on just hold on just a minute, Logan. Everybody looking? Th thank you, Iris. Can you see on the sample that there's actually areas that are darker and lighter? That oh, yeah. was that was on purpose. Now that's gonna make it look more realistic. So this is mostly you know Iris who's making it look more realistic. If you're doing a graphic representation and it's flat, you can do flat color. You don't really need to listen to this. But this is a good tip anytime you're painting. So what you want to do, look up here, everybody. You want to do the wet on wet technique. So, you know, just get a clean brush, make sure your brush is clean, hop, 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 get a clean hop, hop, hop on, on paper or, or napkin, whatever you got, make sure it's clean. Then you're going to paint the whole pink area with water first. Then you're going to go in and add just light dabs of that pink. Does everyone have pink or does people only have red? Um, I only have red, but I'm going to use purple. Okay. See, I only have red, so I know I need a very diluted, mostly water version when I go to paint. So I know, yeah, so I know Fiona, you only have red. You do not have a pink, and same with Iris, right? So that means you're going to need a diluted, very wet, uh, very watery solution. So then you're going to go and just dot in your red throughout, fill it in, and wherever the water was, the paint is going to run to the edge. It won't go beyond wherever you painted the water. And then do like one layer and let it dry. Come back and paint some part of your body and then go in again with the red and dot it again and it will kind of bleed. It'll like bleed out a little bit and you'll get a more concentrated color wherever you want the concentrated color. Mrs. Kenny, so what if I, yes. Um, what if I like use this one like as my pink and like, like if that doesn't, Maybe I could put over some like the light yellow or and some water, and then I can like come back and like do a very light touch of this just to make it a little bit darker. So Fiona, so what you just said, just so you know, know what you're gonna get. This, this red is really an orange red, and what two colors make orange, Fiona? Um. I know you know. Think about this. What two colors make orange? Um, red and yellow. Exactly. So what you just described was already orange that you're going to add more yellow to, which means you would get a yellow orange. So you're going to wind up with a golden color. So if you're going for pink, what you just suggested is not going to work. Now, what you suggested is fine. It's just not going to be pink. If you want pink, what I would do is, here, I'll even show you. I'll show you, show you. I have my paintbrush, it's clean. Everybody watching, if you wanna make pink, I'm gonna put drops of water right on my lid. I'm shaking water from my water cup and I'm putting it right on my lid. You see that? Drop, drop, drop of water. I got maybe six drops of water. I'm just rubbing it off. I got, can you see it's wet in there? And then you're gonna put it in the regular red, the kind of the, what I call burgundy red, and you can mix it right in there. And that is gonna give you pink, but it's mostly water. These lids are meant for mixing. You can see if you've got this set and almost all paint sets do, they've got a ridge in there to hold in the liquid. So lots of water. Yep, Iris, you, you got one too. Awesome, nice, good. So go ahead and make your pink in your lid, Fiona. Give it a try. Okay. Uh, do you mean like the dark red or like yep. the orange? Yep, red? it's the dark red, not the not okay. red. Okay. okay. And you'll get more of a pinkish, purplish. Added color. a little top hat to my um to my fish. Super. Oh. It's um. Oh, that's cute, Lily. Oh my gosh. And what did you put on the rabbit's ears? A ring? It's like a little clip. I love it. Adorable. No, my nice personal interpretation on that. Nice. Thank you for your patience, Valeria. What would you like to say? 
Um, for the bunny, so the, you know how it has like a shirt on, like a pink shirt. Do you have to color that shirt pink? I don't know what you're talking about. On the rabbit? Yeah. Oh no, that's just. Oh, this is just brown. I decided to make his body brown and his the rest of his body gray. No, you don't need to do that. That's brown. But it can you been... make it into kind of a cute little shirt? I'm a little uncomfortable with that because I'm not sure what it's going to look like. Okay, so let's let's not do that. Okay. All right. Thank you. Any other questions? Yeah. You're gonna make pink. Okay. Got a little item on the bunny too. Uh, um, Mrs. Kenny, right now yes. both of my paintbrushes are dry, but another way you can get one wet and then like hit it against the other and like water will come off of the Yeah. Yep, but be careful because you have less control over where the water goes when you do that. That's that's exactly what we do when we do splatter. You know, when you have splatter in the background. Like for example, in the spring session, we're gonna do a dragonfly with a, a splatter background. We're gonna do that. And I actually remember one summer camp, Lily was like the master splatterer. Do you remember I took a video of you, Lily? You were splattering. Oh yeah. With a par the parrot that we did. And, you, and I have a video of you doing that. Yeah, so that, oh, Iris is like, yeah, cause they, Iris was there too, yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, first grade girls, what would you like to say? When you showed the bunny up and when you did last year's art tour, um, I was in there. Oh, that's right. You did that one too. That's right. Both, both you and your brother were up in Oregon when we did it. That's right. Thank you for reminding me. I forgot. You're right. Yeah. Your bunny came out awesome now that I remember. Yeah. Nice. Larry? Oh, yes. Remember when you came to our house and um, you taught us? And you, and we did those little art paintings. Yeah, did you like that? Yeah, and then we always had swim after. Oh, and so and we had our friends there. Yep, I remember. And now we did splatter on the hermit crab shells, didn't we? Uh -huh. Yep, we did. Yeah, that's right. Yep, yep. How are we all doing? Everyone doing all right? Kenny? Yes. If we're done, can we go now? Sure. Is, is it possible you hold yours up? I'll take a picture too. Yeah, sure. Mrs. Tenny, I got right. too much of a red. I almost got a red. Love it. Thanks, Lily. Make sure your mom sends me some pictures. Okay. okay, see you later. Have a good week. Okay, bye. Bye, enjoy your walk. Mrs. Tenny. <gasps> Logan, that is so pretty. I chose purple ears because I don't want to use so hard to make another pink. All right, that works. It's cute. It works. How are you doing, Fiona, with your mixing? I'm watching you. You're not getting enough water? No, I have. Uh -huh. But I put too much red in, so it's literally a magenta now. So you, can, you can pop it up again. Oh, yeah, it's still pretty dark. You're right. So um, do you have a... Here's my suggestion for you, okay, Fiona? Okay. Hold on a minute, Valeria. So, so look at me. See how you got a little paint in the in the well next to it? Right, you have a little already there. Go ahead and wipe that out so it's clean with, with your paper towel. Just wipe it out. So we're cleaning out the side one is what we're doing. And then you could take some of the, the magenta that you already made and move it into there and add more water to that. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. Great. Ta-da! There's always a solution. Yeah. Yes, Valeria. Um, actually, this is what I did to make my little pretty pink. Yes, what did you do? So actually, I mixed a little bit of red and put it onto my little board like a lid. But actually, then put my paintbrush in the red and then put the red into the white. Uh. And then I clean out the white when I'm done with that color. Ah, I'll see, it works. See, there's many different methods to get there. Nice. Nice. Uh, what else? Oh, the other thing I want to comment, uh, many people did not fill in their polka dots and their fish. They can do that too. 
And if you didn't get a chance, you can leave them white because it looks interesting, <laughs> but you can fill it in too. <laughs> what am I going to do? Hey, I, think I, have to add I hope this works. It's very you liquid. water, Fiona. More water is lighter, lighter. Yeah, but it makes it like very liquidy. That's okay. Liquidy is good. How's this? Oh, yeah. Now, do you have a like a scratch piece of paper near you or even on the paper towel? Test out the color, dip it in there and paint it on the paper towel and see if it's a, it's the shade you like. Okay. Yeah, exactly. I'm watching you. Yeah. Well, it's hard to tell because you picked up the table behind you, so it's kind of hard. Um, here. I think uh, it's going to work. Okay, I'm going to. Okay. Okay, so. Yeah, yeah. That's very light. Okay, mm -hmm. you know what? Try the light, put it on, and then you can go and do that, uh, dip it in, in the red directly, and then do a little hop, hop, hop inside the already wettened ear. Oh, after a little bit, it gets a little darker. There you go. Always better to start lighter. It's much easier to add color than take it away. You can take it away in watercolors. It's even harder to take it away in acrylics. Uh, but in watercolors, you can take it away. But it's always easier to start light and add more color. In Remember when William had like a projector? He could like project his art. Who's this? William. Uh, William From the last project? art group. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was cool. One. That was cool. That'd be that would be cool if you had one of those, and that would like. You know, I have um, a camera that I use facing down, but for whatever reason, Zoom and my camera don't like each other, and it would. We tried it last time, and it, it kept quitting. It was causing causing a lot of problems. Mrs. Kenny, I'm on the wing on the owl. I'm gonna do like um a almost like a mix of like not like like I'm gonna do like a pattern with like the lemon yellow and then like really dark like schoolish yellow on between like the patterns. That'd be nice. In fact, I'm, it's funny you mention that because you're gonna, you're gonna look at mine. So I have lemon yellow this is actually school bus yellow and orange mixed together school bus yellow and then that and then a kind of a lighter orange so i actually i actually kind of did something similar i just separated the two yellows so there'd be more contrast how are we doing girls good i just i just forgot to do the beak of the owl oh no problem that and look how colorful my paper towel is. Ooh, I love, that's one of the things I love about watercolors. Your, your paper towels get so pretty. Look how nice. Yes, Iris? Yeah. Let me see. You done? Oh my goodness. Look at that. All right, I'm going to get a picture of that too. Oh my gosh. So much personality. So much personality. Loving it. Super cute, Iris. As always, you do a nice job. Here's that wet on wet technique for the entire body. How'd it work? Um, and it worked great. I added a little pink here and there because you can tell that there's some pink. Oh, yeah. And that gives us. I thought that make it somewhat more realistic. You took the words right out of my mouth. Well done. Yep. Okay. I. Hold on. Oops, what happened? Eh. Hello, bunny. Hello, owl. So that didn't really blend well. Like it, you can't really tell a difference in the yellow. So the, you know what I would suggest? Let it dry. Yeah. Let it dry. Go okay. on. To, go on to another area. And then when you come back, choose something with a little bit more contrast, like uh, orange or something. Okay. But give it some time. Give it some time to dry. Okay. And for my bow. Uh huh. Should I use 
um, like this color or like more like this darker blue or like this. One. It's really, at this point, it's really very personal. Test, test them out on, the, on a separate piece of paper and see if you like them because when they're in dry form like that, they're at their darkest point. So put some water on there and then test it out on a side piece of paper and see if you like the color. Okay. Okay, just keep um, testing it. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, Logan. I forgot to do the bow. Oh, well, don't forget the bow unless it's gonna be clear. <laughs> no, I'm gonna make sure. Right now, my personal idea thinks that the teal. I'm oh, I love teal. It's kind of that greenish, the greenish one, the light greenish. It looks green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, look at the Irish used the teal on the top of her fish. Look at the color, Fiona. Isn't oh, that pretty? that's pretty. Yeah, Wait, yeah. Wait, does she have the same paint set as us? Yes, she did. I don't know if she used it. Did you use the same paint set, Iris? Because I think you have two. I think I have more. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, Iris has the big set. Look at that, Fiona. We could draw oh. We could drool over that one. Isn't that nice? <laughs> That's nice. I, I have uh, actually uh, watercolors that come in little tubes that I use for my personal painting, but I like this one because it's good for traveling. Like now I'm up in Tahoe, so it's perfect to have not have a big, a big thing. To... Yeah, I'm like, your background looked a little different. It is different. This is my Tahoe cabin. I mean, yeah. That's the I don't have a... that's, that's the cabin quilt. Can you see that's like that's the cabin. There you go, right there. <laughs> that's my cabin. <laughs> Is it that tiny? Uh, it's it's kind of small. It's medium small. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, yes, Iris. Can I tell you my gold rush prospector name that I chose? Oh, go for it. Yeah, yeah. So, um. Yeah, so here are the ladies' names and the gentlemen's names. Uh-huh. Like, uh, my first name starts with I, so I didn't choose anything under that. My middle name's C, but I didn't choose anything under that. And my, uh, my last name is W, and one option was Paula, so my name is Paula. Okay. And I'm Peculiar Paula. Peculiar Paula. <laughs> Technically not in this list. It just is PP. So yeah. I mean, <laughs> and you like that? You like that, huh? Peculiar Paula. Yeah. He right. also likes pink. So oh, there you go. And Paula. the P. P. Prospector Peculiar Pink Paula. <laughs> I love it. Okay. I think that's fun. It is fun. Uh, it's looking good, Logan. Okay, I have to leave soon. Yes, I know you usually do. Yes. This is Kenny. I'm, I'm done with it. Okay, you're going to leave your rabbit white? You're not going to paint your rabbit? That's fine with me. This is Kenny. Yep. I painted my rabbit because it, it, I tried to make it gray, but I couldn't, so it look, looks black. Let me see it. Okay, so this is what you need to do. I, you, right now, Valeria, get your towel and go like this. Okay. Yep. This is Kenny. Do we have a purple or is this just too no, black? No, you need to you would need to make your own purple, which is blue and red. I have my own purple. Yep, no, no purple in this set. Okay. Okay. That is one picture. Yeah. Oh, I want to speak of the pictures. I want to get a picture of Logan. Logan, let me see your face. Larry's in the frame. She can smile too. Yay! Nice. Actually, we are out. We are. Um. Actually, I thought we weren't supposed to blend during this type of art. Well, I gave I gave you the choice. Oh well, well you have if you don't have a color, you need to blend, right? You have to make yeah. your own color. So in this case, we don't have purple, so you would need to make your own purple, and then um. And Iris was going much more for the realistic looking rabbit. Remember, she put on her second, her hind legs, right? And, and she put on some paws. So her rabbit is more realistic looking. And then she actually went and put some little dabs, some extra color in there to help give it some dimension and help it look a little bit more three, three dimensional. Yeah, I'm going for more of a magenta light. Here, hold on, I'll show you. 
Brian likes switching to the projector. Well, like the thing, like it's it makes it like go to this. Wait. How's that ah. working, Valeria? Is that helping making it lighter? Yeah. Cool. Oh yeah. See, you fixed it. Nice. Not really going. Oh, that's purple. beautiful. Really that's a beautiful. Gentle. I would call that plum. That is a gorgeous purple. Oh, I yeah. have that color. You have that color. Well done. So, Fiona. Are you happy with that color? Because if you want it pinker, you'd put a little bit more red in. If you yeah, want it. I'm happy with it. I'm going to do like, a, not like a dark stroke, but like a little one. If it doesn't come out how I want, I'm going to add water in. Okay, good. I wish we had a white to make everything lighter. This is Kenny. Yes. Can I show you the color I just made? It's that blue. <gasps> Ooh, that's gorgeous. Yeah, there's so many different shades of colors, especially blue. Lots of different blues. Okay. Colors of red of crayon. I'm done. I love it. Valeria, what do you think? I love it too. I love it. You guys are so good. Is that so good. Just the nose thing, I put around my nose a little pink. I love it. He's super duper cute. Okay, Mrs. Kenny, how do you like Are this? you going to go, Iris? I see you doing this. Head yeah, out. I got to go. Okay. All right. We'll see you next week. Have a good week. All right. Bye. Okay, Iris. I mean, bye. Uh. You guys going too? Yeah. Okay. It's just going to be Fiona and I for a little bit. See you next week. Bye. bye. Okay. How does this purple look on the rabbit? Fun. Yeah. You like it? Yeah. Okay, I think I would suggest one more swipe at the top of the top ear. It looks a little uh, white. Uh, just As take, the, uh, water or yeah, just water, just water. Okay, water. It'll just help blend it a tiny bit. Yeah, nice. I'll tell you, you are becoming such an excellent artist, Fiona. Ah. I'm going to add a little blue in there to make it look more, I don't know. I, I like it, like a little, like, much, like a dark magenta in the middle. That looks nice. cool. Nice. Okay. All right. All right, anything else you want to ask me before I get ready to go? Oh, yeah, pretty, pretty. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. You gotta get your stuff on. Okay. I yep. Have to go. Yep. We all have to go. Yep. All right. So go ahead and finish it up and make sure your mom takes a picture for me. Okay. Okay. All right. Bye. Have a good week. Bye. 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 Thank you. You're welcome.